Hi everyone, so nice to see everyone. How's it going? My goodness, so I think the last time that we were doing this was a long time ago, it was almost a year and a half ago that I did Maraid Mondays and you all liked it so much that um, you wanted to see more of it. So I'm so happy that um, we get to do this. And um, so I just wanted to kind of jump on here and say thank you so much everyone for a start for all the birthday messages thank you it's my birthday today and I really am absolutely thrilled with all the messages thank you so much and also you know I think it's it's just great to you know select some of uh, Maraid Mondays and this is Maraid Monday moments so I hope you enjoy it and today's highlighted interview, as you know, is the amazing Camille and Kennerly Harp twins. And they're just so amazing. Their musicianship is amazing. They're fantastic musicians. And I absolutely love them. They're such a treat to work with. And um, we had such great fun um, on Celtic Heart with Tim Janis doing that show. And they're just very inspiring because they're always so upbeat and so, you know, just their spirit is incredible. And we had such a great time. And even though it was really, really cold on that um, shoot, it was looked really sunny and, you know, and everything and looked really comfortable, but it was cold, it was cold. And, um, you know, we, we all had a great time regardless. So that is coming up and that's the highlighted interview. And they're gonna play a little bit as well. So that's going to be amazing. And I also want to um, show you all uh, a promo clip from my new show, Celtic Spells, which is coming out in 2023. And I can't wait for you all to hear the new album that's actually coming out way before then. It's coming out really soon. So, um, we're so excited about that. And also, um, you know what? I want to feature first um, a product from my shop. And this is an amazing product. Um, it is the Tort Mute. It's a bling mute. So I call it my bling mute because um, I, I wear it. It's on the fiddle, of course, as you know. And here it looks like that. My one is red the red stones. And I absolutely love the sound of um, a mute because it, it just, I don't know, it kind of emulates to me a, such a mellow kind of jazzy sound. And I just want to demonstrate this product because it's really great. And go to maraidnasbet.com if you're interested in this or any of the other things that are there. But seeing as Camille and Kennedy are on the show later, we did Kid in the Mountain together and um, on Celtic Heart and we had such a great time. So I'm just gonna play you um, with the mute and without the mute, just the first few bars of Kid in the Mountain. See what you think. And do you like the sound or do you not? Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so without the mute. So it's slightly brighter without the mute. Uh, more body, maybe, and you know it's 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 nice. Um, I love the sound, especially this is my my Matthias and especially the the violins on my website as well they all come with um a tort mute included in the outfits and you know i just wanted to show you that product for today because some people don't know what's on the website in accessories so they look so amazing don't they and the details of them are just below there in the the banner and the wonderful violinists, um, actually, um, Maria Calhoun and Lauren Chipman, 
they designed the Baroque Bling Mute. And I love the name Baroque Bling. So I hope you enjoyed that little, little moment, little Maraid moment. And I would, you know, put it in the comments and see which one you liked. Did you like it without the mute? Did you like it with the mute? So I think we should go on to Camille and Kennerly's interview because they're just so nice. They're so great. And I'm just hoping you enjoy these moments. It's not the full Maraid Mondays, but just moments from Maraid Mondays and hoping you enjoy this. So album uh, is our first all original album so we just released that oh someone's saying hi oh wow yeah, they're all saying hi. hi to you i'm just putting them up here oh okay oh, so high tech marie i know we, we, we ran i'm a really test. not <laughs> we, we've had a test for this uh yesterday with marie and she was just like popping up comments and photos and we're, we're like, like wow I, I don't i'm very impressed yeah. Um, but but yeah, the Ice Barn is our first um, all original album. We had released singles online previously uh -huh. for um, for original songs, but never an entire album. Of so original and songs. so we thought, you know, we we should just put all the originals or a lot of them on an album and just put it out there for the world. And so it, it has some also has some overlaps for uh, for our comic book. So there's some songs that kind of overlap with themes for that. So but it was a lot of fun. We had a really good reception from. Uh, uh, from our community online, which was really such um, a huge, uh, a, a huge round of support for us because because we had done so many cover things, it was we were a little nervous about how people would take our original music. Like, and, oh, will will anyone want to hear the original? They're just like, where are your Iron Maiden covers? So. <laughs> Um, so, but the reception was so good, and we were just so honored for that. And mm -hmm. uh, but we we really love writing originals. We uh, do a lot of instrumental things, but we love writing lyrics. So that's yeah. fun too for us. Yeah. So it's always fun to kind of tell stories with your music. Of course, when obviously when you're playing instrumental things, you have something in your head about what that. Um, what that theme or concept is, but then when you actually put lyrics in it, then it feels like so. Like okay, well, this is you know, this is the story that we hear and and see in our heads when we play the music. I see Michael said three angels. We Aww, we do I get know. that a lot made when with the video of the kid on the mountain that we did with you for our Tim Janice's special. That that same comment comes up a lot. So people are like, wow, it's three, three angels. They all look alike. <laughs> well look i wish i wish i wish i looked like you girls but i tell you what i i just want to say that you're so wonderful i know i'm clicking here and i just want to say how wonderful and talented um you girls are and you're such great um role models and 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 i remember you know this photo do you remember this photo that your beautiful mother took <laughs> such a wonderful photo and it it really looks like it was just a beautiful gorgeous perfect day out there when the reality it was people so know. cold uh we were all freezing our butts off in that uh, it, man we were we were so cold but then when you play obviously you have to look like you're just you know everything's perfect it's perfect weather beautiful sunshine it was beautiful sunshine i have yeah. to say that but i will never forget the three of us huddling in that tent on the rocks for so long and just being like kind of huddled together with coats and it yeah. was so cold, but it was really fun at the same Here's time. Here's another oh. lovely photo that your mom took. Look at look at the breezer. Aww. Oh no, we, we, we looked so happy and so warm and we were, we were happy and we were freezing. Yes, we weren't happy and warm, we were just happy and cold. That's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just play a little a little clip here from from it. It's just a tiny little little. Oh, do you know what? We'll play the rehearsal clip first. Ooh, all right, let's. <laughs> Now, now we all want to go back and oh those i'm telling you i've one more i've one more here guys this is when we were really freezing and thank you for tim janice by the way for getting us all together <laughs> it's <was> amazing <laughs> We had 
our we had our little choreographed bit with yeah. me, right? We had a so great fun. choreographed bit that we did during rehearsals, and we all leaned one way, and then we leaned another way, and then it was so. I do think that that was that was a favorite during the live, uh, the live. Uh, yeah, we show. had we had kind of the triangle going with I can't yeah. figure out the cameras, but the triangle going with Mairead was in the center, and then we were like kind of flanking in the like back behind and, and felt, i have I to say we were we were a little bit nervous because we knew um that tim does these really cool choreographed things for some of his shows and you of course do this beautiful dancing choreographed things mm -hmm. and so our our when we when we were going to do celtic heart we were like um we, we don't actually choreograph anything so we're like oh we gosh just kind of bumble around stage yeah, we're, so we're like we're gonna be in the back of the stage just messing mm -hmm. up every you know, shot you know that scene <laughs> from miss congeniality where she's with all the beauty pageants people and they're all just beautifully talented and very and then uh cohesive and we just imagined ourselves being uh like Sandra Bullock in the back just like, like bumping it, messing up everything um yeah that's <laughs> that's how we pictured it oh uh, look I love the dancing and music and more oh hey Ian oh everyone's so excited and you're so good for coming on here and and Germany wow that is fantastic. I love the song. It's my phone ring. Yay. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Hello, all. Hi. Oh, there's Tiffany. Hello, lovely ladies. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so your new album. Let's get it. Let's let's tell people where they can get it. Obviously, all the platforms and your patron. You're doing amazing things online. Tell us a little bit more about that and how people can, you know, really get. Oh, on. sure, sure. Um, um, so well, a lot of people will look up Harp Twins when they try to find your music, but that's not technically our band name or our group name. It's technically Camille and Kennerly. And I know they're hard names, but they're, they're right on the spell. screen there. I think Mairead of that on yep, the screen they're there. there. Or maybe we did that. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not but, sure. Again, um, we're not technologically savvy. But, but if you look up uh, Camille and Kennerly on anything like Spotify or iTunes or any of those sites that you might find music that you like to listen to. Just um, look up Camille and Kennerly and you'll find it. The name of the new album is Ice Sworn, but if uh, if covers are more of your thing, we've got a lot of those, um, a pretty pretty wide variety, you know, everything from classic rock and metal yeah. to soundtrack and uh, and that sort of thing. So ho hopefully a little something for everyone, I guess. <laughs> There absolutely is, girls. You you can play anything. You know, you can play anything from from heavy rock to Celtic. Like it's the whole gamut of genres that you're able to do. Look and who's talking. <laughs> but you play different harps as well. You've got the two concert harps. Yeah, we know, uh, you can see look at them. Those Perfect. are. Uh, are large mm. concert grand harps. So that's kind of what you would see in an orchestra setting mm -hmm. or um, something like that. And then um, we have our smaller electric harps, which we'll put on when we play something. Um, but those we strap onto our bodies. They're very, yeah. that's the ones we, we used um, when we worked with Mairead um, during those clips. Or for Celtic Heart there. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun to have a little bit of versatility. Harp is kind of an instrument that's been a little bit left behind in the world. You know, uh, just um, in modern music in general, it's been a little bit, a little bit left behind. So we're hoping to uh, do our part to bring it a and, little bit more to the forefront. Show people that it's not just an instrument for weddings and tea rooms, but it can do a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. It can Absolutely. be very Absolutely. And did you know the harp is the national symbol of Ireland? Well, they're smart people. So. Yeah. Of course you knew that. But you know, you're just um, amazing. And what you're doing on online with your YouTube concerts, obviously your YouTube channel is huge, your Facebook is huge, and your Patron and 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 you know how everybody can get their VIP uh, bits of clips and everything is so amazing what you're doing. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We have a, a YouTube channel that we've been uploading for many, many years. Um, uh, uh, and we do we do one music video a month on there. It's just uh, uh, it's it's music video, meaning that we uh, arrange everything we record in our home. Our mom films our music videos, but I think we just passed uh um 115 million views on youtube so it's uh it's however, not too bad for some self-made things however um, we have to say that it was not an overnight thing you know you kind of hear the the immediate success stories are always the popular media ones like oh i just put up a video and it immediately went viral and then it was just famous forever but um for us it's been just many many years of 
of working, mm-hmm. you know, putting in the time and, and but see, uh, yeah, we, we create music videos. We're still doing that one a month. Uh-huh. And um, we typically are touring a lot and doing our own shows. Uh, we um, perform as a, a harp duo and we do shows but, around uh, the country. But obviously the way the world works now, we, uh, you know, we are not essential uh, with our work. Uh, and so, um, so we, we've just been continuing music from here in Harptopia. We, we, uh, we're on Patreon. We've been on there for quite some time um, to so help support our music videos and we do a lot of extra things on there, but we just started a, con- a little mini concert series through there as well. Mm-hmm. Just um, just from, from home right here and right here harp room. behind us. And yeah. so we're playing two mini concerts each month uh, for, mm-hmm. for our Harp Twins backstage tier there. So it's, it's been a fun way for us to um, start reaching our fans uh, and connecting with them because we were supposed to be touring. We would have been all over the country by now this time of year. Um, yes, uh, with yes. our schedule, but I think most of that is postponing until 2021, and that's when I guess we'll be back on the road for the most part. Maybe in fall, uh, hopefully uh, venues, and hopefully the world will be safe again for that. And mm-hmm. uh, but we'll see. In the meantime, we're just but you you know all about you know kind of doing stuff from where you can. I mean, you started this um, this awesome show from right from your oh. Facebook, which is fantastic. So it, and that way people it's can be awesome because you're on it. <laughs> And I get some great guests every week, and you know, I'm I'm just so delighted that you're on, and I'm I'm really interested, you know, and I'm sure everybody's interested in your. Uh, of course, I was pronouncing it wrong. It's patron, right? So, and they can get their different tiers of access, and it's so great. And as I was saying earlier, I think musicians are really stepping up, and um, even though. We don't have our income or whatever now normally we're mm-hmm. stepping up to uplift people and and that's what you guys are doing all the time in harptopia and it's fantastic girl it really really is oh, oh thank, thank you, you. well Vista. i think it's good you know there's it, it's hard because uh in the world today especially people feel very kind of trapped right now i think and and everything and music has always been a great outlet for people to bring joy and bring positivity and, and fun um, and laughs and, and and that's just i mean it's what we're trying to do it's what you're trying to do and um i think the world needs a lot more of that so i think something that people can tune into and they and you know they have something to look forward to at the end of the week or at the beginning of the week and i know i'm must i'm, I'm Mondays. Aren't they amazing? I hope you all enjoyed that. That was a lovely Maraid moment from Maraid Mondays. And um, be sure and follow Camille and Kennerly and all their socials and their Patreon. And um, they're just great. They're so cheerful and so lovely. And I loved all the comments about the mute guys. I know that a lot of you prefer the mute. Um, and then I think Justin said he couldn't tell the difference. So that's actually good too. <laughs> it means my sound is pretty good. Okay. <laughs> so I'm so happy about that. And, um, you know, uh, let's go. I think the twins um, uh, played on the show as well they were uh one of the few artists that actually did play on raid mondays and i am so happy about that and they're so great and they have all these amazing instruments like they have their concert harps and they have their their celtic harps and they have their rock harps and so anyway i will let you listen to them because they're amazing and i'll see you shortly
that was just stunning. Wow, yeah, that is amazing. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. Wow, so fantastic. Oh, girls, my goodness, you're busy, very busy today because you're on Gym Masters later. That's right. Um, <laughs> but it's okay. It's a good busy. It is a good busy. And it's been too long since we've talked with you actually face to face. So this is this is fantastic. It was we really missed seeing you, Maraid. I remember when we first met, and it was of course we knew who you were, and um, but we you never know what someone's going to be like in real life. And, and we were kind of nervous because we were a little bit starstruck because obviously we'd heard of you, you know, <laughs> hasn't. And, and um, but we met you, and we just the three of us got along so well right off the bat. I know. And we're so. like, wow, she's so sweet and lovely, and it was just and as we're. Lynn and Eber and so like it was just yes. like the perfect environment and so much fun so mm -hmm. it was so much fun on Celtic Heart I mean really really was and I hope that we get to do something together the three of us at some stage hopefully we'll do, get to do a collab sometime in a, in a month or so somewhat sometime <laughs> well that would be super you, fun. let us know in the comments if you want to see a collab with the three of us <laughs> yeah let's see what they say let's see <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, brava, brava, brava. So awesome. soothing. Steve. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Thank awesome. you so much, guys. And I just want to thank you so, so much. You guys know how much uh, I love you too and and your family. And it's just um, an honor to have you on here. And I don't want to keep you too long. I'm sure everyone wants you to stay on all day and all night. But thank you so very much for coming on and loads of love and have a great interview later. And everybody has to get Iceborne. Such a oh, beautiful thanks. album. And thanks, and thanks for, for having, having us on, Marie. And, um, yes, we're going to be on Jim Masters' show later today. But thanks for having us on. And um, Hopefully we'll see you very soon and maybe even do a collaboration or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, girls. Take care. Oh, they're amazing. We have to do that collab. So put in the comments below, what, what would you like us to do? Um, you know, because um, it would be great. Um, isn't it fantastic that the music industry is slowly, slowly, slowly coming back? It's brilliant and we're all getting back to our live concerts and oh my goodness, everyone, what a what a two years it's been. And I'm so glad that Maraid Mondays um, has brought a lot of people light and brought them through that difficult, difficult time. Um, I was delighted to do it. And um, for my family and my friends and my family and, you know, and having my family on as well, it was amazing too. And so, you know, I'm, I'm just fingers crossed and everything is going in the right direction. And and uh, we're at the other end of this pandemic as well, which is fantastic. And you know what? We're we're there. We're nearly there. It's, it'll be slow. It'll be slow. But um, I can't wait to see you all. And um, here we have. Let's see what's coming up next for me. Um, this is the next live concert coming up next for me. This is at the Irish Cultural Centre. And it's May the 8th at 2.30 p.m. And that's on Mother's Day USA. So that's going to be amazing. I can't wait to, to play on that. And, you know, it's just um, always such a an absolute pleasure to play at the Irish Cultural Centre and in Canton. And really can't wait to see you all there. And the tickets and the ticket link and everything um, are on Bands in Town, but also at moraidnesbitt.com. My website has everything. It has links to absolutely everything. So it's very, very easy. It's a one-stop shop for everything. And hope you, you know, enjoy the website because there's lots of great stuff there. And, you know, hopefully I'll see you there. And I just wanted to end this Moraid Monday's Moments with a promo clip from my new show Celtic Spells and it's coming out in 2023 and I can't wait for you to see it and hear all the music and I got to work with the most amazing team of people 
Padder Townsend, the orchestrator and arranger from Ireland, from Cork, Ireland, um, was working very, very hard with me through halfway through the pandemic and we we just wrote the whole show and also my brother Carl Nesbitt and we got lots of inspiration from my mother Kathleen Nesbitt's fiddle book and CD and that's also available on my website as well and I have to get more because they're selling out like hotcakes <laughs> and but go to maraidnesbitt.com and here's a little bit of Celtic spells and I just want to thank you all for hopping on today with me for Maraid Monday Moments. Hope you enjoyed it and visit my website, maraidnesbitt.com for everything that you need and even cameos as well. Nice present for and a nice gift for Mother's Day. So enjoy this clip from Celtic Spells and the amazing people that are working on it, which is Padder, myself, I'm in there. Kate Schmidt on dancing, Ryan Murray singer, and the other amazing instrumentalists as well. And Carl Nesbitt also added extra instruments. So thank you, Carl, for that. And Studio Lab as well, who are amazing. And just what an outfit that they have there in New Hampshire. It's amazing. So we had a great time doing the shoot. So I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you next time.
Thanks so much, everyone. That beautiful, beautiful tune is by Neil Grover, and he has been working so hard at me on Celtic Spells, and absolutely amazing. We can't wait for you to hear the new music, and our album is going to be out very soon. So keep an eye out for that, and have a great week, everyone. Have a great week. Thanks for joining me here on Moraid Monday Moments. Take care. Bye.